with, with breast as well. Also, I am using broccoli, oyster sauce, honey, and also I'll be using some low sodium soy sauce with some rice wine vinegar. I have olive oil, water, sesame seed oil for that authentic flavor with some minced garlic, cornstarch. Also, if you like carrots, you can add some carrots. I will be using some ground ginger for today's recipe. If you have the fresh ginger, you can add that. For seasoning, I'm using onion and garlic powder, Creole seasoning, paprika, adobo seasoning, okay? No salt, that's it. Let's get into it. So in this cup here, I am going to mix all of my liquid together except the water okay save the water for later so i added the soy sauce the sesame seed oil the honey the rice wine vinegar as well as the oyster sauce Now we're going to give that a nice stir, make sure everything is well combined. Now you can set that aside, moving on to the chicken. I drizzle about half tablespoon of oil to the chicken. Then we're going to mix the ground ginger with the remaining, with the rest of the seasoning. Mix it up together, then you are going to generously season your chicken thighs. Now to a medium high heat skillet, you are going to pour your olive oil, about four tablespoons of olive oil. Once that is nice and hot, you're going to place your chicken in there. Now I'm going to cook the chicken for about four minutes per side, then flip it over. Now if you're using chicken breast for this recipe, I suggest you cook it for about three minutes per side because chicken breast tends to you know, get a little bit drier the longer they cook if you wanna keep them nice and juicy. Now the chicken is nice and cooked, it's smelling amazing, it's looking amazing. In the same skillet, I am going to cook the garlic. Cook the garlic for about 15 seconds or until fragrance. Now is the perfect time for me to add the broccoli. I am going to saute the broccoli for about one to two minutes. Then I am going to add the carrots. I don't want to overcook the veggies. So if you like your veggies well done, you can saute them for longer, but I like the crunch. So I am going to lightly saute the veggies. Now I'm going to grab the sauce, pour that in there. This is the mixture of all these sauces we mixed together earlier. Just pour it in there, mix it up together. And I am also going to grab the cornstarch as well as the water. Here's what you're going to do with that. You're going to pour the cornstarch in the water and give it a nice mix.
once you're done mixing it you are going to pour it into your broccoli here's what this is going to do it's going to basically thicken the sauce make it nice and thick okay not too runny you pour that in there give it another stir now if you want you can cover it if you like your broccoli your veggies soft like i said you can cover it let it simmer on low however at this point i was fine with how my broccoli was looking and it's going to um the longer it sits it's going to get softer anyway so yeah basically at this point i am going to grab my chicken and pour the chicken in mm, look at that juice and you know it's going to taste delicious so we're going to mix that together just like so and basically this is the whole recipe less than 30 minutes very easy now all you have to do is pour this over some white rice you good to go very easy i hope you guys try this out because when i tell you this was so good this was busting it was so 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 good try it out and let me know how you like it this was definitely a 10 out of 10 would recommend recipe try it out let me know how you like it also if you enjoyed today's recipe let's not forget to thumbs it up of course you gotta thumbs it up if you like it why not and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here to be part of the family i will see you guys on the next recipe bye guys